All right, guys, we're back again for day two of this portal marathon, I guess is the way to put it, as Florida State is now attacking the portal. Uh, again, Monday was the first day that they could contact kids, and there were a bunch of kids that we went through yesterday that uh, were upgraded on my list to mutual interest or the War Chant watch list to mutual interest. We only had one really move up there today. He moved all the way from watching to mutual interest. Uh, throughout the day, he entered earlier Michigan State defensive line Derek Harmon. This is a guy who I think right away when he entered the portal, Florida State got on and made a priority. Uh, at Michigan State in 2023, he had 40 total tackles, six and a half tackles for loss, three and a half sacks. Now, some important things to note here is that he did enter the portal or kind of he entered and kind of flirted with the idea of leaving back in the winter window uh, before he decided to go back to Michigan State. During that time, he visited Auburn, Oregon, and Ohio State. So those are definitely ones not to count out here, as obviously he was already in contact with them and has already, had already started building that relationship with those staffs. Another good thing to note is that he was offered by Memphis in 2019. Who was the head coach of Memphis in 2019? The one and only Mike Norvell. So again, that means he already does have a previous relationship with the staff. We have been hearing that they already reached out to him and that they have already talked to him and there is mutual interest there. Uh, we put him on the list as soon as he entered the portal. Once we heard that, it was easy that we upgraded him straight to mutual interest. This is someone that we I do think FSU is gonna push hard after uh, and soon, hopefully. And another thing is I started getting to some of his highlights where you can see there's a link to it on the War Chant watch list on the PRB. Uh, his highlights versus Ohio State, both this year or this past season, the season before that, are pretty good. He's got uh, quick hands and gets off the blocks very easily. He sacks CJ Stroud once in one of those highlights. It was really, if you go and, go and watch those, it's really fun to watch. Another guy who entered, who I'm just kind of watching right now, I have heard that FSU has contacted him, but I don't think he's really up at the top of their board. Another defensive lineman in Jared Harrison Hunte from Miami. He had 26 total tackles, three tackles for loss, and two sacks. This is still a guy I put below both Derek Harmon and C.J. West from Kent State. That's kind of there. If you miss on both of those, you go to him. But still very decent, has decent production. I think it's a good backup for these guys, And they, but we have heard they've been in touch. I just don't want to put mutual interest there because I don't think they're – I don't feel at least that he's the highest on their board as, again, C.J. West and Derek Carmen. Then after that, I just have a quick note on a guy from yesterday we talked about, an Elijah Badger from Arizona State. Again, we are looking to take – or FSU is looking to take two receivers, probably this portal window, and the top two that we – or we at least feel the top two are Keandre Lambert-Smith and Elijah Badger. Um, me and our intern Greg did some research on drop rates of the top 30 available receivers in the portal – and an interesting stat for Elijah Badger was he had 99 targets, so the most, and that was the most of any of the top 30 available wide receivers in the portal right now, and only two drops. From watching some of his film, he had a great takeoff, had a good kind of stutter step and a quick burst. This guy is really, again, his highlights are also on the War Chant watch list on the PRB. Uh, really fun guy to watch. And I want to say he was – he didn't have a consistent quarterback at Arizona State. Jalen Rashado got pushed as a freshman due to injuries of other guys. Then he got injured. It Basically, he never had someone consistent throwing the ball and someone who was just consistent in general when it came to play. So this is someone who could benefit from a quarterback like DJU who's been there. And, yeah, that's all we got for today. Again, not much, but – this is what it's going to be. We're going to slowly get through it every day and something big is going to happen. So keep watching and getting ready.